Hello my dear children and welcome back to my channel. This is Ritya Prabhu, your math teacher here. Today's section is about class 10 NCRT chapter number 4 quadratic equation. Exercise number 4.2 question number 5. The altitude of a right triangle is 7 cm less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 cm, find other two sides. The given problem is related to a right triangle. So let me draw a right triangle. You all know the parts of the right triangle. The base of the triangle and this is slanting line is the hypotenuse of the right triangle and the angle opposite to the side. The side opposite to 90 degrees is called perpendicular or you can write opposite. So let me take ABC as a right triangle, right angle that B. It's given that the altitude of the triangle is 7 cm less than the base. Altitude is nothing but the height of the triangle. The height of the triangle is 7 cm less than base. They have not given you any detail about base, but they deals with the altitude. The height of the triangle is 7 cm less than base. So let me assume, let base of the right triangle be x centimeter. If base is about x centimeter, then what will be the altitude? The height of the triangle, it's given that 7 centimeter less than base. So the altitude of the triangle will be x minus 7 centimeter. And the altitude, that is height of the triangle is equal to x minus 7 centimeter. And it is also given that the hypotenuse of the triangle is 13 cm. So, hypotenuse is given 13. Since the problem is related to a right triangle, we need to find out the, the size of the triangle. That is base and the perpendicular, the altitude of the triangle. We can go with Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, we know that hypothesis square equal to adjacent square plus opposite square. The given hypotenuse as 13 square is equal to adjacent is nothing but the base of the right triangle that is x square plus the opposite is nothing but the perpendicular the height x minus 7 the whole square. So 13 into 13, 13 square is 169 equal to x square plus. Now we need to expand the bracket by using a minus b the whole square by using second algebraic identity. So a square minus of 2 into x into 7. So 2 7s are 14x plus b square 7 7s are 49. Now take 169 to the other side. So we have x square plus x square 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169 equal to 0. So, 2x square minus 14x minus of, when you simplify 169 minus 49, 120 equal to 0. 2x square minus 14x minus 120. All three are divisible by the even number 2. So, make them into a simplest form. x square minus 7x minus 60 equal to 0. So, this is the required quadratic equation. Now, we need to factorize the quadratic equation to find out the zeros and that is nothing but we need to find out the base and the height of a right triangle. Let me factorize by using splitting the middle term. Here, the sum will be minus 7 and the product as minus 16. What are two integers to be added to get the total as minus 7 and the product will be minus 16. So, 12 minus 5, minus 12 plus 5 will be minus 7. When you multiply minus 12 into 5, minus 60. So, now split the middle term. x square minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 equal to 0. Taking common from first two term and the last two term, regrouping. So, when you take x as common out from the first two, the left out term will be x minus 12. 
5 x minus 60 both are divisible by 5 so taking plus 5 as common out x minus 12 equal to 0 so the factors are x minus 12 into x plus 5 equal to 0 the zeros will be x minus 12 equal to 0 so x equal to 12 the other factor x plus 5 equal to 0 so x equal to minus 5 we have assumed the x as the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle base and height of the triangle can never be negative so x equal to minus 5 is inadmissible therefore the number x equal to 12 is nothing but the base of the triangle therefore the base of the right triangle x equal to 12 centimeter then what is the perpendicular height of the triangle we have assumed it as x minus 7 therefore the altitude of the triangle b x minus 7 that is 12 minus 7 5 centimeter so we conclude that we have a right triangle with the base 12 centimeter and the altitude the height of the triangle is 5 centimeter so these are the two sides we need to find from the given data thank you thank you for watching my video